Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. Now that we have tables in place, I'm going to go back to SQL scripts and I'm going to upload a script that would create triggers. So I'm looking for the file name that says triggers and I will upload that and I will select that script and I will say run now. I will check the results to verify that it ran without errors. So I can go back to SQL Workshop and to Object Browser and I can select Triggers and I can see the triggers that were created. And these are all before insert with the BI in front of a table name. So for example, before inserting a new student record, I could look at the code that would run. And this little bit of code in a trigger is going to go out to a sequence get the latest value, insert it in as student ID, and then uh, allow the insertion of the data because the primary key value will be populated. Now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to log out as Ashwini and I'm going to come back in as Ben because Ashwini and Ben are both working on the data model, the construction of the database. Ben was assigned the task of inserting data. So as Ben, I'm going to go back into SQL Workshop and go back to scripts and I have some insert statements in a script. So I'm going to go get the insert, upload, and then I can run this script. Run it now. And then I can check to the results. And what I'm mainly concerned with is the fact that I have no errors. So when I come back to the object browser and look at the tables, I can click the data tab now and see that I do have data. So I'm going, going to come back now to the team development area, to the to-do list. And as Ben, I could come in and say that for import existing data, I could mark that as 100% complete. So in the next video, Ashwini will log in and we'll look at how to create a table using the Apex interface.